Good morning, PC. Glenn Calloway from the basement. This morning, it's Monday morning, Trenton, Ontario. Beautiful day. It's not too hot so far, which I love. Went out and took the dog for a walk this morning. Um, this morning, I want to do a video on Beatles covers. Not people that covered the Beatles, songs the Beatles covered. So I went through all their studio albums, I'm not counting uh, BBC broadcasts and all that stuff because there was lots of cover songs in those albums, but just on their studio albums, I came up with 23 songs they covered by other writers. And then I ranked them. So. From 23 to number one. Number 23 uh, might be one of my least favorite Beatles songs, I guess, if I had to say there's a bad Beatles song. Mr. Moonlight off of Beatles for Sale. Not a huge fan of that song. Beatles do a good performance of it. Nothing wrong with it, but I'm just not a big fan of that song. Um, number 22. I've got the list all scrambled here, so... Aha! Chains from Please Please Me. I didn't realize, for whatever reason, after... 60 years of listening to this stuff, or 50 years, whatever it's been, that uh, this was a Goffin King song. So, Beatles covered, covered Carol King. Pretty cool. Chains. Number 21 was, bear with me for a sec. I should have put these in order, but why would I want to do that? Uh, I can't find number 21. There it is. Boys, off the same album, Please Please Me. Uh, I'm just not a big fan of that song either. Ringo does a pretty good job on it, actually. He really rocks out on it. Um, again, no complaints with the Beatles' performance of the song. Just not a big fan of that song. So, Boys, number 21. Number 20. How about... A Taste of Honey, which is also on Please Please Me. Please Please Me had a lot of covers. Uh, Taste of Honey, again, I, I'm going to keep repeating the same thing. Uh, it's not, it's the song. It's not, uh, it's not the Beatles' performance. I don't like the song that much. Number 19. How about Devil in Her Heart? She's got the devil in her heart. Written by some guy named Drapkin. I had no idea who the heck he is. I actually thought it was a Beatles song. I thought they wrote it. I've never heard the, the original version of that song. Devil in her heart. Number 19 was devil in her heart. Number 18 from Beatles for Sale, I believe. Rock and roll music. Chuck Berry. I'd rather hear Chuck sing this song myself, but, uh, so it's number 18. Not the worst, not the best. Number 17, we have ourselves a Carl Perkins song, Honey Don't. <laughs> not a bad song. I'm actually at a band I played in, in uh, the early 2000s, we used to cover this song. Our guitar player was... Did a really good job on it. Um, I, uh, yeah, Honey Don't. What can you say? Ringo's okay on it. And uh, it's all right. It's number 17. Number 16 is on Past Masters. It didn't show up in any of the studio albums. Must have been a B-side. Uh, Bad Boy. I'm, uh, it's okay. It's a rocker. It's not bad. Nothing special, but it's good. Number 15. George Harrison. George Harrison. Everybody's 
Got to Be My Baby, another Perkins, Carl Perkins song. I know George loved Carl Perkins, and who doesn't? The guy was amazing. Um, Everybody Wants to Be My Baby is coming in at number 15. Number 14 is another Ringo song. The only cover, I think, on Help. Might be the last cover song they ever did on a studio album. Act Naturally. Buck Owens, I think. So, that was a good song. They played it on Ed Sullivan. Ringo did a pretty good job on it. Not bad. It's it's number 15 on the, the, the Beatles uh, cover songs. Or number 14, I'm sorry. Number 13 is coming at you. Another song that was uh, a a side B side I'm not sure there was a uh, slow down and matchbox was a um, 45 release at least in North America I'm not sure if the UK uh, slow down is number 13 um, the B side matchbox is number 12 there, there was a pretty good 45 I mean it rocked out pretty good I kind of I kind of like those songs so, uh, and then number 11, Till There Was You off of With The Beatles. Now, this is like a show tune, and I'm not big on show tunes in, in, in those uh, Broadway musical songs. It's not. Um, but... George Harrison's guitar work in Till There Was You is freaking awesome. I love the lead he plays on that song. So that's why it ranks number 11, just because of George. Okay, the top 10. Here we go. Drum roll, please. Number 10. Let's do another Chuck Berry song. Roll Over Beethoven off with the Beatles. Great version of that song. Love it. Number 10. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Number 9. Anna, go to him. I love that song. Arthur Alexander, the great Arthur Alexander, um, wrote a ton of great songs. Anna, John's vocals on it are killer, I think. Uh, real bluesy and just a great, great, great song from John. Number eight would be Buddy Holly, Words of Love. Love the harmonies on this. Love the percussion. I think Ringo's playing on like a, some kind of like a, a case or something. It's not, uh, it's not on his regular drums. Um, really like Words of Love. It's a great Buddy Holly song and I love, I love the Beatles version of that. Number seven, a rocker. We gotta have a mother rocker in here. I love this song. Kansas City off of Beatles for Sale. Kansas City, hey, hey, hey. Great rocking song. Love that one too. Number six would be well, you know what had to come out in the list sooner or later. Off of Please Please Me. The amazing performance of Twist and Shout. I mean, just incredible. John's vocals on this. He just ripped his vocal cords out singing this song. Uh, incredible cover. Incredible cover. Twist and Shout. Number five. Another John song that really um, is kind of bluesy and cool. It is on Please Please Me. And I did not know until today that it was written by Burt Bacharach. So, um, Baby It's You, another great John vocal. Incredible. John could really rip them out in those days. Number four is also on Past Masters, Long Tall Sally, Little Richard. Paul could do Little Richard better than Little Richard. Um, great version of that song. Number four, Long Tall Sally. 
Number three, another one that John just rips to shreds, and I friggin' love it, Money, written by Barry Gordy. Um, just freaking love that song, and love John's performance in it. Great rockin' song to end with the Beatles album. Number two is... Number two and number one are both off with the Beatles. Number two, Please Mr. Postman. Great Motown song. The Beatles do such a good job on this song. Absolutely love it. And number one, drum roll please. One of my favorite performances by the Beatles on record, whether they wrote it or didn't write it, You Really Got a Hold On Me by Smokey Robinson. Oh my God, that's a great song. And their vocal performance and arrangement of that tune just slays me. I absolutely love it. So there are the Beatles cover songs ranked from 23 to number one. Um, if any other Beatles fans out there, <coughs> Rachel, <coughs> um, would like to give me uh, a list, I would love to see it or comment on mine. Guys, I'm at 197 subscribers. Just saying. Three subscribers. Just push the button, the red button, if you haven't subscribed to my channel. Please do so. I appreciate everyone. Have a wonderful day, and uh, we'll talk soon.